The Elementor heading widget may be a basic widget, but it's going to be one that you're using more often than not. So let's take a look at it. First of all, I'll just add in a row, and let's set this to a minimum height so we can see what we're doing. Then come back here, drag your heading in. When you've got your heading, over here on the left, we can adjust the basic content setting. So first of all, if you wanted to link your heading somewhere, you can do that. Put the link in here. We can do link options, for example, telling it that it's a uh, no follow or to open it in uh, another tab. We can also use dynamic tags as well. So if you wanted it to link to another area around your site or even trigger something like a pop-up or a light box, you can do that as well, all just from here. When you've done your link, you can also uh, change the HTML tag. So for example, you can use this as heading one if it's gonna be the title at the very top of your page. Just obviously remember that you should only be using uh, one H1 per page, never any more than that. And then down here is where we can set the alignment. So let's put it into the middle. And then if we come on up to style, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is uh, change the text color and the font. So font, come under typography. Here we've got our default family font. So you can set the default font for your website in the uh, theme customizer settings if you're wanting to do it on a global basis. But for this, if you're gonna alter them one at a time, come in here, select the font that you want, and that's gonna change it for you. You can then obviously change the size. We can do it in uh, pixels, or you could do it in VW if you wanted to for more automatic adaption to different screen sizes. And then down here we can change the weight, so we can make it bold, etc. And you can transform it as well. We could make it all uppercase, we could capitalize it on uh, each word, or we could then you know, underline it, overline it, put a line through it. Everything you want to do in the styling section can be done just here. I'm just gonna put that back to default though. And then what you can also do when you come on down, uh, line height, this will change the space around it. So if we had other content in here now, like a subtitle for example, it would be creating this space between it here. You can also change the letter spacing of the title itself. So you're gonna find all of those options just here under typography. If you've made changes that you don't wanna keep, you can always send it back to default by clicking the little back arrow button. If you want to change the actual color, come up here under text color, and then we can go around, find the color that you like, or if you have a color code, you can put it in here. And don't forget that this drag here, sorry, dragger here, is what's controlling the opacity for the text as well. So you can change that too. When you've done that, you can also add some text shadow if you want to. And that can help give it a little bit more of a 3D look, depending on where you're gonna be placing your shadow. I'll bring this back. And then we can do some other cool stuff with it as well under the advanced tab. But it's probably gonna be better if I put an image behind this so you can see what it's gonna look like. So in order to put an image behind this, what we need to do is come on up here to our actual section settings. And then from here, under the uh, style section, we should find background, here we are. So under normal, We've got classic, so if we click this, it would give us the option to put a color behind it if we wanted to. Or just below it, you've got the image option. So if we click on this, we can stick an image behind it. And then in order to make this look a little bit better, we can change the position to center. Uh, we'll turn the repeat to no repeat, and we'll set the size to cover. There we go. What I would probably then do is actually make this section a little bit bigger, so we could come back to layout, go to minimum height and increase this but I go into that properly in the video on the actual image section. Coming back to our header, now we're struggling to see it. So let's come back over, click on the little edit icon, go back up to style, and let's change the color. Let's see, let's make it, uh, let's make it a sort of orangey color, I think. And then maybe we want it to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, if we wanted to move this around, we can come to the Advanced tab, and then here under Margin, if we unlink the values, and at the top margin I put 50, we see that that's just moved it down. Alternatively, I could always make this minus 50, and it's gonna bring it up. And again, if we keep doing that, it's gonna move it around the image. There we go. Let's bring it to, let's bring it just in line with these mountains there. That's not it though, so what we could then do is come on down to motion effects, 
we can turn on scrolling effects down here or mouse effects. This is under the Elementor Pro section, by the way. So if you're just using the normal Elementor section, you won't have this. Uh, everything else you'll be able to do, but this is purely for Elementor Pro. What you could then do is turn on the mouse effects, put on mouse track, and then you can choose whether you want it to go in the uh, direct direction. So if I move to the left, it goes to the left, move to the right, it goes to the right, or we can do it as an opposite. And then obviously you can change the speed that you want to do that as well, just down there. Or we can set it at a 3D tilt. So we can make it do this. And again, it can just make things a little bit more interactive for your website visitors. Or we can also do scrolling effects as well if we wanted to. So this would be, for example, do we want it to blur when we start to scroll? So you can see there, blurred, unblurred. We can obviously adjust how quickly it's going to be doing that using this down here. So these are all good ones to play around with. And of course, you can choose what actual device it is that they are going to be being displayed on. Uh, a final good option is also to make it sticky. So in order to show you what this is going to look like, let's just add another row down here quickly. Let's make this bigger. There we go. Right, coming back up to here. If, by the way, when you've moved it around using the Advanced tab, if you're then struggling to find it, just remember that Elemental comes with a brilliant navigator. So right click, go to Navigator, and then what we can do, if we're struggling to locate it on the page, we can easily select our heading from here, and that's going to immediately bring it up as the editable section. So now we can come back to the Advanced tab, head on down to our sticky settings, and we can say stick to top. I'll get rid of this now. And now if I scroll down, oh, nothing's going to happen because, of course, we've changed the uh, margins under Advanced. So if we come back here, turn this back, there we go. So now when we're scrolling, it's sticking to the top of the page. So another way of doing this is if we went down to padding and we adjusted the bottom padding to 100, that's bringing it up. And now when we scroll down, it's still sticking to the top of the page. So that's the other way to get around that. We can use the padding to move it up instead of the margin. And then we're not going to lose it off the page when we are scrolling down if we're wanting to stick it to the top. So really quite simple, but you've got a lot of powerful options there that you can play around with. And it helps to make the website obviously look a little bit more interesting. And last but not least, you can also use something called an animated headline. Again, this is uh, on the Pro version, and I'm going to do a separate video which is purely based on this. But just so that you know that it's uh, actually there, under the Pro widgets, you have the animated headline. That can do things like this, if I bring up my website for a moment. So if we come on down, there we go. So that's an animated headline. Obviously, we could have it as a title as well if we wanted to. So that's something else. Uh, which we can also do with a different widget called the animated headline. But sometimes you can get the two confused. That's why I just wanted to touch on it there. So if you do have Elementor Pro and you want to use that, check out that video. I will link to it in the description. But for now, thanks again for watching and see you on the next one.